Hey there, and welcome to the second episode of the Chronicles of the USS Drum. Here is the USS Drum, in all her glory. Sort of, anyway. There's a picture of her. It's good enough. Um, so, last time, uh, what did we do last time? We sunk a bunch of shit, and um, and we got a lot of can a lot of tonnage out of it. Um, we are currently at 287,514 tons, which is 265 or 264,500 tons more than the guy who's right behind us. So, we are doing very well. We have a whole bunch of medals. We've got two Congressional Medals of Honor, one Silver Star. That's not a Silver Star, that's a... Uh, it's a navy cross. It looks like a silver star, but it's a navy cross. And oh, we do have a silver star. Okay, so we've got a silver star, a navy cross, and two congressional medals of honor, which is fantastic, actually. And uh, I think no, I don't want to go in there. I think yes, my desk is still on fire, which is fantastic. I like having a burning desk; it keeps things hot for me. And uh, yeah, so we've had f uh, five patrols now, or at least. We're going to have a fifth patrol, I guess. Um, I don't know what that's about, but okay. Uh, so this is our fifth patrol then? Or sixth patrol? I don't even know. So uh, we're just going to get on with it and let's go. And let's see where they're going to try and get us killed this time. August 25th, 1942. USS Drum. Depart on the 25th. Deploy to Honshu and engage in enemy merchant shipping. Honshu is the main island of Japan which is where Tokyo is, of course, and Kobe down here. Um, also, I think that um, Hiroshima's down here somewhere, I think. It's somewhere in this area. And uh, there's a whole bunch of ports along here and a huge shipping lane. So um, this is going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and deploy and I will see you in a moment. Okay, so here we are on board the USS Drum. We're back and uh, ready to go. We've got a new map, which should be helpful, hopefully. And uh, we can see down here, I'm in, I'm in the uh, Special Abilities section, and we've got a whole bunch of them. I don't know how many of these are actually, um, like, working. I don't think these ones are working, the ones that are all greyed out, but these ones that, which are, are working. Uh, these ones here, which are square, these are the ones that I can activate. So this guy here, Medic, that will, uh, if I click it, it will in increase the healing rate. So if people get injured from attack, I can click that and they'll get better quicker. And this one here improves the reload time uh, of any gun for five minutes, and I can use that once per hour, which is fantastic. So I'll be using that pretty much every time I use the deck gun, because, you know, why not? So, we are outside of Pearl Harbor. Okay, Pearl Harbor, fair enough. And uh, we need to get ourselves moving. So I'm going to set a course, go to two-thirds, and then we are going to go up here and across to Midway. And uh, once we get to Midway, we're going to fill up on fuel. And then we're going to use that fuel to launch us across the Pacific. And uh, we're going to end up going right through here check there's no islands there that I can crash into which there aren't and that's good and then we're going to end up here uh, on the coast outside of Kushimoto, Katsura, Shingu, Tanabe, Gobo yeah Gobo, Tokushura no Tokushima rather Fukura, Sumoto, Toshiba, Kishiwada, Osaka, Takamasu Ajino and uh, Maragumi and uh, I'm not sure where Hiroshima is, I thought it would be marked on the map but uh, I don't see it so maybe it's further up further north than I thought it was here's Tokyo here, that would be a fantastic place to get to if I could but I don't think I have uh, had the ability to get that far inside Japanese water because there will be guns and things all around here so that's not really a good idea to go to but if we've got a ship uh, got to go here we've got to go here and sink things haven't we deploy the honshu so i've just got to deploy here 
and then I could pretty much go anywhere I want in this area. So, um, there's nothing really stopping me from uh, going up and visiting all these ports around here and uh, getting some of those uh, destroyers and hopefully some fat tankers. So, um, yeah, I think that might be the, the best way to go uh, unless we come into like a convoy or something like that and uh, see if we can find some big ships. But yeah, we've got a whole bunch of radar contact because we are in a port. Of course, there will always be radar contact in a port. Are we going backwards? No, we're going the right way. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get to Midway. I'll check in there and then uh, onwards to uh, the coast of uh, Honshu Island. So I'll uh, see you momentarily. We're on our way to Midway and just passing a uh, American freighter. Apparently it's American. It's friendly. Actually, it might not be American, but it is a friendly freighter it's over here somewhere sort of there we go yep it's American it's a friendly we're gonna let it go but uh yeah there we go friendly shipping is a-okay so we're going back to course okay we are closing on midway we are nearly within refueling range and we are now in refueling range so we're going to go and refit and we'll take a quick look outside and see what kind of ships we can see if any apparently there's one over here somewhere oh yeah there's something there I don't know where it is that looks weird let's have a look through the better magnifying glasses oh that's um hmm I don't actually know what that is that looks bizarre I'm going to have a, have a look at that oh, what's that well that looks like a battleship of some kind but yeah, there's one, they may both be battleship, but that one's huge. Uh, there's a whole bunch of little ones over there. I think those are destroyers and... Wow, there's all sorts of stuff here. Here's some big things. That's a tanker. But yeah, there's some big stuff here. Anyway, now the one I was looking for is over here somewhere, sort of parallel with me. There we go, that thing. That looks like a tanker. But they're all friendly, so um, yeah, we're done with them, and uh, yeah, I don't want to return to course, I, well, I do want to return to course, but uh, I want to change my course as well. So, we're going to go and uh, steer towards Honshu. Okay, we are halfway across the Pacific, we've got packed news. The Japanese army has been thoroughly beaten in New Guinea, which is this island here, north of Australia. Uh, the American and Australian forces kicked the Japanese off the island. So apparently, we now own the uh, the island of New Guinea. I can see a, a new port there, Port Moresby. That's pretty good, but they still have a ball over there. So and they have the Solomon Islands too. So um, yeah, we've still got a lot of work to do there. But uh, good news that we've taken some of that, and we are about halfway from Midway to. Uh, to Honshu, we're going to be about another three days, got just under 1100 miles to go, so uh, yeah, we're going to get back to that, and I'll see you shortly. Okay, we have deployed to Honshu, we are right here, directly south of Kushimoto, and uh, we have to engage enemy merchant shipping around Honshu. Well, where better to do that than inside a port? So, I'm going to set a course north, and take a gander at Kushimoto here. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. I want to be over this side. Let's go there and not go through the uh, through the spit of land there. That would be the best plan, I think. Trying to avoid land as a submarine is generally the best idea. Uh, right, we're getting quite close now. That's some planes there. How far away are we? From there, we are 13 miles away. I'm going to go a bit more, and I think we're out of range of these planes. Yeah, we should be out of range of those planes by now, and that's good, I think. I want to mark out around about 10 miles. Oh, we're already within 10 miles. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and go to, uh, I'm going to go to periscope depth here, and we're going to make our way inside. So, um, yeah, I'll be back when we are closer. You know what? I changed my mind. I don't think we're going to go to uh, Kushimoto. I think, keep going that course please, 
that we are going to go up here and pay a visit to uh, Tokyo just because I can and because that will send a message to the Japanese that the Americans are not to be trifled with so we're going to go up around here and in through this little area here and I'm expecting there to be some kind of uh, some kind of resistance there and I'm going to go up through here and up to Tokyo which is right there and is a massive port I mean there's like it's like four different berths there's one there, one there, one there, one there, one there in fact that's like seven or eight or ten or something one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight ports yeah that's a ridiculous number of ports so yeah we're going to go up to Tokyo and there will be something there and there will definitely be a uh, patrol of some description either here or here or in the middle here there will be something so uh, there will be some warships for us to destroy as well so this will be good let's uh, get on the way I've decided that really these ports here they're tiny and you rarely get very good pickings from uh, from small ports so uh, instead I'm gonna go find the big guns and um, hopefully we'll find something really big there so yeah, that's what I'm hoping anyway. I mean, why do it if you're just going to go for small fries, eh? Let's go for the big one. So I'll see you when we get closer or into trouble. Okay, we are right here. Uh, like, just off the coast of Yokosuka and Shizuka or something. And uh, we've got something small and piddly. It's like a sandpan or something of that ilk. So, um, you know, as we're on the way why not create a distraction and uh, sink this guy over here and hopefully that will draw out any kind of uh, guard they've got at, uh, at Tokyo or whatever that wasn't the gun that I meant to go on this is the gun I meant to go on uh, yes there's all sorts of stuff over there glitching and being weird and uh, over here we have like something so let's go and you know, kill it why not I probably should check what the range is before I start wasting shells like that yeah it's actually quite a long way off that was a waste of a shell oh well he gets a warning shot then let's get up over here and that will do how far away is he now 700 yards that's far more like it let's get back on the gun and uh, kill him yeah that looks about right no, that missed. Oh, right, because it's gone up suddenly. Right. That's much better. These are actually armor-piercing shells. I don't know why we're on armor-piercing. I want the high explosive. This guy's made of wood. We'll set him on fire. Right, that should go right in the wheelhouse. Sets him on fire. That's good. Let's have one more, shall we? Boom. That got him. Look at the fireworks, isn't that lovely? That's exactly what we want to see. And that will have been seen all the way over there. So, um, yeah, hopefully that will draw out any guard there may be over there. But it might be too far away. So, I don't know. Let's go ahead and carry on. And uh, we're nearly there anyway. Radio report small convoy. That's a large convoy. That's a very large convoy, actually. Uh, right. Seven ships. But with four destroyer escorts. No, I think I'm going to go better of that. I know I've taken on three before, but... Four is a bit much. I'm going to go and uh, avoid them. And hopefully we should come in behind them here. For radar contact long range. I think we're okay. Yeah, they're all over there. They're not coming back for me. That's fine. We've got another radar contact. Is that inside here? Do I see something in there? No. Uh, right, well, don't know where that is. So, let's carry on. Oh, right, it's a plane. Okay. I guess I'm going to be plane dodging for a little while. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, well, I didn't have to go very far. We've got two contacts over here. And let's see if we go what they are. That could be a destroyer. Probably is a destroyer. And that could be could either be a gunboat or a sub chaser neither of which I really want to uh, come into contact with 
how far away are we? We are closing all the time. But I think we're going to go to periscope depth here. I'm going to adjust my course. We're going to go in over the very shallow area. And we're going to stay to the left, I think. And just in the slightly deeper area, not the really shallow bit but the, uh, the slightly shallow bit. There's a deep bit there, which we're going to go and hide in, I think, if possible, or if necessary. And uh, we're going to get moving in here. Right, and that warship is slow and closing, so that means it isn't actually coming for me. If it was fast and closing, it might be coming for me. Right, I'm going to slow down to one third. Yeah, these guys are definitely circling. Yeah. They're going left and right, left and right. And I don't know what that small one's doing, but this is the larger one, I think, that's sort of going back and forth up here. So if he comes back this way again, yeah, that's nice. I wonder if he'll do another, uh, another pass over here. Yeah, he is. How far away is he going to end up crossing me? A uh, fair distance away. I'm going to continue onwards then. And where's he going to go? That's the question. Is he going to turn and go back behind me? Or... No, he's going in front of me. I may just uh, fire one off at this guy, depending on how far away he is. Oh, he's actually very close. Um, he's going to end up crossing somewhere around here. That's actually in range. I'm going to stick up my periscope and take a look-see and see what he is. He's over here somewhere. The seas aren't exactly friendly. That's a destroyer, I think. He's got a lot of guns on him. A lot of guns. Don't know what he is exactly, I mean, but I know he's a destroyer. So I'm going to range him up. And I'm going to get his angle. It's probably something like that and wait a minute I can't wait too long because he's really shifting it set that and probably slightly different let's see if we can get a, a speed on him 16 that sounds reasonable let's, uh, let's fire two at him and see if we can uh, see if we can put a hole in him I'm going to leave on contact influence and I make him high in the water that is and we'll go to targeting computer that looks a bit too close. I'm going to put one there and one there. But this is really far away to be shooting him from. I'm going to put the scope down so if he hasn't seen me, well if, it, if he has seen me he will know these are coming, but if he hasn't seen me he will have less chance of uh, seeing these things approaching him. So uh, we'll see, I guess. This could have been a really reckless and stupid idea. But on the other hand, it could end up being a heroic shot in the books of Epic. So we'll see. Because this is uh, 1,600 meters away. So this is a long shot. And there's another one behind it. So hopefully at least one of them will hit. That would be really nice if both of them hit. But um, I will take one and I will be happy with one. So we'll see. Oh, I think I just saw the other... Yeah, I saw him going past over there. We missed him with both. That is a shame. Now let's see, where is he going? Is he coming towards me or is he just disappearing? I don't think he even... Oh, no, he's coming towards me, all right. He's definitely coming towards me. Let's see. Or is he? He's kind of my general direction, but no, he's just gone straight past me. Well, okay, we missed a couple of torpedoes there, but, you know, we had a speed all wrong. Whoa, what was that? Uh, flooding down. Have we just run aground? I think we just ran aground. Hold on. Depth under keel is 220, so what, what the hell damaged us? Oh, he's like right there. Okay, damn. That was bad. Um, what's damaged? I don't see any damage. No, that's not damage. Well, 
our hull hasn't been breached at least. Let's uh, get the damage repair team going. Uh, we've taken some stern battery damage, some bulkhead damage. Oh well. Well, he knows where we are, so let's put up the. Uh, let's put this up and uh, see if we can have a go at him. There you are. Lock you in. Let's get a range on you. And an angle. If you're there, then you're probably like that. Speed two knots. I somewhat doubt it. Let's range him again. Angle, sort of more like that now. Probably, no, less than that I think. At that speed, 10. Yeah, that's it. that's more, more likely. Let's speed it up a little bit and see where he's going to come in. He's going to try and come in from behind. I'm going to open up the rear tubes and go and try to get a solution on him. Let's go and give me that please. We've got flooding which isn't ideal but never mind. Uh, he's more... is he sideways? No, he's more like that I think. Uh, eight? Yeah, maybe. Let's take that off. Because I reckon as soon as I fire he's going to hit the accelerator and disappear. I've got the speed way, way wrong. Let's put it up to 15. That looks far more like it. Let's fire one there. And then this one, I'm going to put, like, there. That one's probably going to miss, but we'll see. Uh, the second one. I'm trying to herd him into the second one, so we'll see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one's missed, but this one is far more likely. That might go off with, um... Oh, no, actually, that's good. Contact influence. Very nice. Got a fire on his rear end. I like that. That works for me. So where's the second one, then? Oops, that's not where I wanted. Where's the second one gone? Uh, second one missed. But um, that must have done some kind of damage to him. Let's go and take a look. Hmm. Well, he's uh, well, he's going in a straight line, I think. Or is he turning? No, he is turning. He's still definitely turning. But I don't think he's actually engaging with me anymore. I think he's had enough. Where am I? I'm here. Yeah, he's had enough of me, but I haven't had enough of him. I've started, so I will finish. So let's go ahead over here and cut him off. In fact, I'll get him on the way back, because he will uh, go over this way and turn around and come back again. So, let's see, where's he going to go? I'm going to slow down and turn left. Right, he's going up there. He's going to come back around again. So I'm going to turn all the way around, straighten up, ish, and go forward. And, if he is stupid enough, which I think he is, he's going to come straight across my bow, which is very stupid actually, considering we've already smashed him one. Yep, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to go to my scope, lock him up. Yep, that's locked. Distance, there. Angle, it's going to be something like that, roughly. Speed, don't know yet. Range him again. When he's about here. Angle, maybe slightly more like that now. And speed, nine knots. I'm skeptical, but if you think so, let's take that right off. Well, I mean, we have hit him in the back, so it's possible. Let's open that up. Ah, oh, go on then, let's fire it and see what happens. I'm very tempted to put another one right there. To hell with that, I will. Open tube, and fire. 
But, actually, this first one may get him. I don't know. Ah, oh, the second one's slow. Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Never mind. Oh, actually, that's an even better shot than the first one. Very nice. I think that may have got him. Oh, yep, that, that looks like he's definitely got him. That's um, a lot of explosions. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a big hit. Don't see any. Oh, there's the second torpedo. Very nice. That was uh, that was rough. And he, yeah, he's definitely sinking. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> that was brutal. Boom. This guy's not going to stop exploding. But there he goes. Yeah, external camera, please. Thank you. Ah, let's go to this one. Oh, right, he's gone already. Right, let's uh, take a quick look. See, here he goes. That's what's left of him. And I have no clue what he actually was. But, uh, yeah, whatever he was, he's dead. And uh, that's the end of his war. So, hopefully, whatever that other small boat was, it's going to leave me the hell alone. And I can get back to course. But I don't know if it will or not. So... We're going to go up in the middle here. I'm going to go two thirds. And how's my battery doing? Poorly is the answer. How many torpedoes do we have? Oh, we've got loads of torpedoes left. We're fine. Right. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's put the scope down. That'd be a good idea. Oh, that's the other one right there. Hopefully, he will uh, not pick us up. But he could. I don't know. Merchant moving slow. That's another ship of some description right there but he has absolutely no clue what's going on so let's stop here and wait and see if this guy comes back yep he's coming back again okay we're not moving so i'm going to put the scope up and somewhere over here will be whatever this ship is if we can see past the waves somewhere over here up oh, there he is uh, I don't know what that is and it looks like a destroyer but I don't know exactly where it is so I'm just going to range it up we're getting the CO2 warnings but uh, that's okay because CO2 is going to be quite low yeah it's not even well it's 10% now that's fine I'm more concerned about the battery to be honest because I can't let the battery get down too low or I won't be able to get out. Uh, right, here we go. Possibly I might be able to get up in, in the night time and, uh, and recharge the batteries, but I don't know. And he's a long ways off. I wasn't going to shoot at him from there anyway, but well, I might have done if it had been sort of in range, but oh, that's miles away. Let's go ahead one third and speed it up a little bit and put the scope down because I'm an idiot that'll do, that will do and we'll stop there and that guy will be coming back any moment now there he goes whoa he's passed in front of me already he's really shifting so he's like here somewhere there he is, he's going backwards Whatever he is, he's going very fast. But this is going to mess this up. It's going to be like that, because I have to do it backwards, because he's travelling backwards. Now I reckon he's going faster than that. Let's try like 16 and have a look at the targeting computer. No, I don't know. I think he's just going backwards and forwards. I reckon if I wait here, he'll come back again. I reckon he'll just like stop there then come forward again yep that's exactly what he's doing he's just going backwards and forwards so um, yeah this is going to be fairly easy he says with confidence that he doesn't deserve how far away is he going to be he's going to be like sort of here yeah well within range let's get him a bit closer yep that's good Okay, let's lock him up again. I reckon he is 
I don't think he's a Hibuki. He might be a Mitsuki. Possibly. And he's gonna be sort of like that. Speed. Yeah. Oh, it must be at least five seconds between two range measurements. Okay. Let's do that. Slightly more like that, I guess. No, the other way, I think. That way. And speed, 15. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. I was guessing 16, so yeah. Why not? Right, let's put these at high speed. Contact influence, put them high, of course. We like our high torpedoes around here, especially against destroyers. Right, uh, I'm going to fire one roundabout there. Yep, I'll fire one there, and then I'll put one sort of there, because I don't really trust my targeting. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. Let's uh, fast forward a bit. Oh, wow. Okay. I think he might turn into the second one, though. Kill that one. Yep, that got him. And that killed him. Very nice. So, yeah, I was right not to trust my targeting on that first one. But the second one got him, so that's more than good enough. And uh, yeah, that was a that was a critical hit. He doesn't like that one bit. There we go, sort of listing over and sinking down to the front. Perfect. Right then, and there he goes, sinking under the waves. Let's go outside and have a quick look. Down he goes. Goodbye, Mr. Destroyer. Don't know what you were. Don't particularly care. Just know that you're sunk. And he's hit the floor there. Whoa, they look big in the background over there. I'm looking forward to seeing what this is. Let's go ahead and uh, I think the only real threats are over there. So I'm just going to go ahead and go up here. And actually, I may end up just shooting wherever the hell these things are. Because they look big. Oh, that's a plane. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the periscope down. And actually, I'll speed up, because that plane was coming straight at me. Warship fast closing, but it's that one, and it's behind that sandbank there, so there's nothing you can do. Right, let's go ahead and slow down again. And uh, let's turn on this bit here. Yeah, that'll do. And we'll stop there, and straighten out. And once we're stopped, that's good enough. There we go, we're stopped. Put up the the scope and see what we've got in front of us because those things looked really big right oh they are big that thing's huge what else is in here that's a that's a tanker of some description that's a uh, sub chaser behind it is there anything over here there's another gunboat nothing over there but what is of interest to me is these things. That's as far as I can zoom in. So, let's get the book out. Put that down a bit. Japan. No, it's definitely not that. Or it? No. No, I can't be that lucky. Um, they're probably cruisers. But I'm going to look through battleships anyway. No. That's a possibility for that one. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Uh, hold on. No. no, that's not it. Uh, they're not carriers. They're not carriers. They could be heavy cruisers. Yeah, I think that one is a Furutaka heavy cruiser. Very nice. And this one... Ah, that, that could be right. Yep, that looks like a Maya heavy cruiser. And they are both nearly 10,000 tons. And um, yeah, I like that. Now what's this one over here? That is a uh, merchant. It is single stacks near the back with four masts. Not right at the back, but sort of the back of the middle. Ah, that could be him. Yep, that's what he is. He's a large modern composite freighter. Very nice. But what we're interested in is those guys, because they are worth massive tonnage. Okay. Maya Heavy Cruiser and a Futu, uh, Futaka Heavy Cruiser. 
Uh, I'm not sure which one was the larger of the two, actually. Let's go back to the Japan thing and find out. Uh, to cruisers. Right, uh, I think I've gone past it, haven't I? Yeah, that one's 7,000. And the Maya is definitely the larger. So, which one was the Maya again? That one. No, that one. That one's the Maya. Okay, right. We'll get it right eventually. But close, please. Okay, so... I'm going to lock this one up and check how far away it is. I should be well within range, but, you know, 3,000. Yeah, we are within range, but I'm going to get closer anyway. Let's go ahead and get closer. And, yeah, that'll do. Stop there. And we eventually do stop. What the hell is this? Oh, this is not good. Let's put that down and go ahead flank because that is not good I know exactly what that was that was a plane coming in to attack me but uh, I think we're alright let's turn slightly to the left actually one third ahead so I can get a good bead on these cruisers that's good right we'll stop there and when we come to a halt, there we go, there. I'm going to put the scope back up again. And then we're going to get a shot at this mire. I'm also going to take that off. Right, whoa, that's really quite close. Uh, is that the mire? Yes, this is the mire, apparently. That has a plane on the back. Could do, don't know. Right, range. Next to nothing angle sort of like that yeah about that and speed is zero because it's not moving I do love finding stuff like this in uh, in dockyards it makes the risk of getting in so worth it right then I'm going to open all of my tubes so I will be firing all of them at least all the forward ones anyway put them all on high speed and contact and I'm going to make them all high as well because I don't want to risk missing with any of them because uh, cruisers and destroyers and things they're all notoriously high in the water so I'm not going to risk my torpedoes going underneath them I've had enough problems with uh, with duds so far that I don't want to waste any so let's uh, yeah, that looks good. Let's fire one off, and then go to two. We'll put one slightly further back. Fire one there. And we'll fire one slightly further forward as well. Right, here we go. Here they come. We've got contact cam here, and a dud. Fantastic. That's lovely. Right, let's go to external cam then, please. Thank you. Oh, we've got a contact. And two explosions. Those were big. An enemy unit destroyed. That I like. That I like very much. We've got two holes in him. And, uh, yeah, that was very nice. Yep, he's going down. That's excellent. Now let's shoot for the one behind him. And he's still blowing up. That's lovely. 